All right, picking up where we left off. Um, this was the uh, hip and gable roof that we made in the previous video. Uh, this video is going to show you how to transfer all of this down to your elevation views. We're going to have four elevations on this house. We're going to have the front and each side, both the uh, east and the west side, and then, of course, the north side or the back side. All righty, so the way we do this, now I'm going to... Um, I'm going to show you how to use this one tool. And what we want to do is we're extending the geometry uh, down to another plane, basically. And so the tool that I use, and I'm going to go ahead and put this on the zero layer to show you what I'm doing. And the tool I use is this tool right here. And this is called Construction Line. I click on the construction line and what that does is it gives me a perfectly angled line that continues on forever. Um, so I, and what I want to mark, I want to mark all the edges and all the corners and all the, the primary geometric features that will allow me to draw a true uh, frontal elevation. So I click on a corner and this gets the edge of my roof and you see how my uh, my construction line works there okay and then I just hit the enter button to get out of it and then I hit the enter button again to get back into it and here I want to mark the corner of my wall the extent of my wall okay and now I want to mark the edge of this uh, hip and gable section here and again I want to mark the edge of the wall okay and I also want to mark uh, let me turn my doors on Oh, it's already turned off. Uh, there we go. And uh, yeah, so that'll work there because I want to see my outside door. So you can see how that works there. Okay, another construction line. So I want to mark the edges of my doors and all sorts of things. And I just kind of keep going all the way across the front, marking every edge and also the peaks of my roof. Um, so I'm going to mark that uh, the peaks here. I'm going to find where these hips intersect. Um, you know, maybe where my gables are at, right there. Okay, and uh, again, little, little sections here where they meet together. Here's the uh, the gable peak. I'm going to mark that. Okay, and I certainly also want to mark things like this. That peak right there at the ridge line. Uh, so I just kind of go around marking all of those and bringing them down to the bottom here where I can actually uh, start drawing my elevation. Now I'm going to get rid of all these for just a moment. And um, there's different methods that you can use to actually do this. Uh, the way I was doing it, would I would end up with a whole lot of lines, especially if I have a really complicated design. Um, I would have a tremendous amount of lines, and it'd be hard to tell one line from the next. Um, so what you could do is uh, you can do this and maybe just do one part of the house at a time. You might start with the roof and then lay the roof out. Uh, then go to the walls, lay the walls out, and then of course your doors and windows and lay those out. Or you could do something like this, um, which I have. I'm going to turn these layers on. Uh, what these are are construction layers that I created. This is construction roof. This is construction door. This is construction wall. This is construction window. And if we turn all those on, you can see all of my lines. Everything is marked. Uh, and they are marked according to their color. Um, now I can choose to try and draw my uh, elevation with all these lines on, or I can just turn certain ones on at a time. Uh, I like to start with my walls. So I'm going to turn everything off except for the walls. So here with the walls, I got all the edges of my walls uh, um, identified. So I've got the furthest left, furthest right, and then all the breaks here in the wall, the minor walls and stuff like that. Um, now from here, I want to, I'm going to draw a front elevation as if I'm looking at the front of my house. And I'm physically going to take this house that's right now in, in uh, let me get into the camera here, uh, two dimensions, and I'm going to flip it over like that. So I'm looking at the front of the house. Uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll create a line, and I'm going to put this all on the actual wall layer, exterior wall layer, because that's what I'm drawing. 
Uh, this is my first line is going to kind of be the the bottom, the the level zero, um, right where my foundation would start. Okay, and of course it's going to match up with this red line here, and I'm going to draw it all the way across to this red line over here. So I get me some reference geometry going and place it somewhere down here. There's no specific place to place it. You just set it down there somewhere. Um, you want to leave yourself enough room to work. Uh, of course, you can move and you will move these things as you're going along. Um, you'll move them to different places, especially when it comes to printing your plans. All right, next thing I do is I identify the height of my walls. Now, this is the bottom of my house right here. So my walls are going to go up to somewhere around in here. I want my walls to be nine feet tall. Okay, some people like 10, some people like 8. Uh, most common houses are 8. I like to do a little bit higher than that. Okay, so there. There's my 9-foot top of my wall. Um, and actually, it's also going to serve a double purpose. It's actually going to be the bottom of my fascia board, too, when I get done here. All right, and next thing I do is I'm going to offset this line again, but I'm going to offset it for the thickness of my fascia. Uh, my fascia is going to be about 8 inches, so type in eight inches there and uh, that's my fascia board now is when I can start working on um, my roof uh, what I'm going to do however those I am going to put some more lines in here I'm going to mark the edges of the house you know the extents uh, and the, the little minor walls there in between Okay, so now if I turn off my um, construction walls, then you can see now I have sort of a, a, an imprint of the front of the house. Next, what I'll do is the roof. So I'm going to turn my roof lines on. And now I can start drawing my roof. And I, I have to do it to establish a pitch here at first. And two, I also want to extend these lines right here. So I'm going to click on extend, select all, and there, and there. So now my uh, fascia board extends out uh, from my eaves, one foot out from the house and my eaves. Now here you'll see why I chose to uh, to, to do uh, a one foot eave because I'm going to figure out the pitch of my roof and of course I could do it without doing that but just for the sake of the video I thought it would be easier uh, but it basically it's one foot between here and here so my pitch of course is going to be uh, some number over 12 meaning it's going to rise some number some value over 12 inches every 12 inches that it goes across my roof is going to be um, that rise, whether it be four inches, six inches, eight inches. I'm going to do a six inch uh, rise of a run. So again, like I said, this is my uh, one foot right here. So I just kind of start right here, draw a line that's six inches tall. All right. And then that tells me where I need to lay. And I'm going to go to my roof layer here. It tells me where I need to lay that uh, pitch from here here now I go ahead at this point make sure I am met up there Oops. okay from this point I actually start to um, I'll record some information here as I go along on a little scratch sheet of paper uh, what I want here is the angle um, I'm going to measure the angle by going to the measure tool and of course you can select different things distance radius angle area volume and I click on angle and uh, click here and here to get the angle that's 27 degrees and, and you can start rem remembering these as you go along as you get more experience you can remember that a 6 over 12 is, is 27 degrees okay um, and you can also figure you can determine your pitch by degree you might say it's going to be like say 30 degrees which is actually going to put it at a 6 and 15 sixteenths over 12 but uh, let's do it this way okay so we got 27 degrees so every time I go up in elevation on my roof I want to be at 27 degrees and uh, they've actually got um, some new features on uh, AutoCAD that I don't like that kind of get in the way of some of the information that you're trying to read 
and I'm not sure if it'll show up on here or not. I know it was showing up on one of my students' computers uh, as I was trying to help him. All right. So anyway, uh, I'm going to take this pitch, which represents this corner, this right here, and I'm going to draw it up to this intersection right here. So that would be this line. I'm going to draw it at 27 degrees, maintaining that 27 degrees, okay, up to this line right here. All right, and if I go a little past the line, that's when I think it will show me my um, my degrees. Now, of course, you can see it says 153 degrees. So basically what we do is we take 90 and add uh, 27 degrees to that. Um, pardon me. I've done too much math in my head today, but um, so I got 90 degrees plus 27 equals 117. Uh, so I will hit my tab button so that I can change the degree. There it is down there at the bottom. You can see it right uh, there next to the very edge of the roof. And this is some of the uh, other uh, text that they put on here. I have to figure out how to turn that off because it really gets in my way. So 117 degrees enter and that's something new too. It didn't snap in the right direction. So we'll try that again and sometimes it may just be as useful to uh, for now anyway is to go ahead and just match that up like so and, and you can see what it's doing right now is it's not wanting it wants to snap up top somewhere so let's turn off some of these snaps and hold on one moment Oh, she did? Yeah, okay. but I've got to take off, and okay. I didn't want to. I didn't want to risk All right, so that her things. Up. Yeah, I didn't want to risk it yeah. being locked in there. Oh, right. So okay. I um, just let her know I put her physics test in the drawer, mm -hmm. so I have much to incomplete. Okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of okay. Yeah, All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I had to uh, answer the door. All right. So, um, yes, yeah, so we have to play with that. We have to uh, kind of figure out a way to get used to that. Uh, so, I'm going to go this way and I'm going to try to type in because I think it's reading from something different you know this right here actually reads i can't see except the window keeps popping up in my way i'm going to have to figure out how to turn that off here in a little bit so i'm just going to try to keep it straight based on the line there see how the line and the directional line so i'm just going to make sure i got it pretty darn straight there and then place my line right there and then i'll trim the rest off Okay, now did I take that to the right place? I did not. I was supposed to take it to this line, so let's do that real quick. Again, make sure it's all straight. There we go. Alright, so I got that line um, to where it is supposed to go. And the next one is going to be straight across, okay, right up here at my ridge line. So me straight across to this line right here. And I'm going to turn my snaps back on so I can snap onto that. That line right there. And then from there, it goes down until that line right there. So here's where I want to make sure I'm at that 27 degrees. That same pitch. And actually, let's see. I think 150, what are they doing there? 153 minus 27 equals 126. That doesn't make sense. Um, so let's just do some more guessing here. Let's say 180 minus 27 equals 153. Okay, so basically they're look, um, basing this off 180 degree uh, increments. 
and I want to set that at 153 degrees. Okay, so I'll tab over to my uh, angle box, 153, enter, and there we go. That one worked that time. Uh, I don't know, used to, or uh, could be wrong, I don't remember, but uh, used to, it was all, it seemed like it was always based off 90 when I would do that. So I just took it right down to here. Now, actually, I'm going to take it all the way down, I think. Or actually, let me go ahead and... Let me try that. Yeah, it goes all the way down to the edge. And we're good there. Uh, so actually, the roof still continues to slope this way. Um, now, I am going to come right here and create another line at that 23 degrees and it should meet right there okay so now you can kind of see my gable there and then my next one is going to be right here this line right here which I'm going to go up 23 degrees again and make that match up and sometimes to defeat the snapping I'll just kind of go past the line just a little bit and then tab in 23 degrees enter okay and then trim this back I don't usually type my commands in there because I'm fumble fingers I just spelled line, but I think did it take line? Yeah. And this one will go, double check myself, it's going to go right up to there. Right down to that liner there. Okay, now the rest of this roof is just a hip. Uh, this section over here is hip. Alrighty, so um, that's pretty much that part of the elevation. The next thing I do is I can turn that layer off. Oops. I turn my interior wall though, I can leave those on. Um, construction line roof, turn those off. And now I can place my doors and windows. And condor. And we gotta turn it back on. So there's my doors and then of course I have ones called windows so now you can kind of see the path that I'm taking here um, and I, you know, I don't need to keep you any longer on this so you know getting all of your different you know windows doors and all that separately is a lot easier to do than having tons of lines on there that you have to try to figure out which is which um, so that kind of that gets you where you're going uh, after this I'll place my doors place my windows and then I'll do some other trim work, uh, making sure my eaves are all trimmed up and everything else. And then I'll kind of come back and show you what the final picture looks like. All right, I'm back to um, show you my fit. I'm going to fix my camera here. I promise I wasn't taking a nap. Okay, anyway, I'm back. And uh, this is um, the finished frontal or south side elevation. Um, after transferring all of my geometry down, this is what I end up with. Now from here I'm going to go on to place my uh, east and west sides and my north side. After that I'm going to start dimensioning, which is uh, something I'm going to show you after or once I get to it. Okay, good luck.